What's him Is that right, son? I've got to get home, sir. He's got a pretty good reason, Colonel. Maybe so, Pierce, but that's none of our business. Private, you better go back and run the iron over this with your CO before you get in any more trouble. No, I won't. Move your butt, or the MPs will drag out of here. Get a little mixed Just up. Just a minute. This is a place of worship. Tell him, Father. I'm trying to make this peaceful. You better go along, son. Look, I'm not going anywhere. You can't touch me. The hell I can't. Didn't you hear the chaplain? This is a church. Church? It's a chow hall. Sergeant, hey, wait, wait a minute. I got a right to, uh, to, uh, I got a right to something, uh, with you. Sanctuary? Yeah, that's it, sanctuary. That's it, sanctuary. I got a right to sanctuary. Don't hear me that. Sergeant, just a minute, Sergeant. Colonel, they, they can't do this. I'm sorry, Padre, but I think the lieutenant's right. Colonel, I realize I have no military authority. Nevertheless, as a man of God, I believe there's a religious principle here which takes precedence. This is a place of worship, be it the cathedral or mess hall. If the boy chooses to take refuge here, then I must grant it to him. This is the Twilight Zone. Highly imagined, incredibly inventive. Must believe in the Twilight Zone. Tonight on MeTV. <laughs> This ride has no resolution. There's no finish line. No award ceremony. Not sure. Yeah. Take the somewhere unexpected. And everything you need is at your fingertips. It's okay, I can go through her country tomorrow. You said you were going to give me one Saturday. Make it pet proof. Make it waterproof. Make it great. No. Yeah. Home Depot has everything you need to make it yours. Get free installation of carpet, six hundred ninety-nine bucks or more. The Home Depot, more saving, more doing. Life insurance. I'm just an average guy. Do I really need it? All of us leave final expenses, funeral costs, medical bills, and other debts. In fact, the average funeral alone is between eight and nine thousand dollars. With no insurance, your loved one's pretty left with a bill, and no one wants that. Well, I have to go through a medical exam, only to be told that I don't qualify? Not when you apply for Whoa. final expense life insurance with guaranteed right? acceptance Who? from John Hancock. Jack there are no Who's medical Jack questions Klugman? or exams. Quincy. If you're age 60 to 80, you can't be turned down. Acceptance is guaranteed. I'm on a fixed income. How can I afford life insurance? Rates start around $13 a month, and policies range from $2,000 to $20,000, so you can select the best fit for your needs and budget. You can even choose how and how often to make payments. And it's easy to budget for, because your payments never go up, and your coverage never goes down, for as long as you live. How do I know the money will be there when my family needs it? For more than 150 years, John Hancock has helped meet the needs of more than 18 million customers. So you can be confident that they'll be there for Jack you. Jack Plugman died. Isn't there an insurance yeah. policy that gives she you was only 90. money? You can enjoy healthy living. I would have thought he was older than that. Motivation he was yeah. old when he did Quincy. <laughs> and you think it's easy? I did too. You don't have to answer health questions or take a medical exam. You can apply online or by phone in minutes. What could be easier? I guess I have no more questions. Call 1 800 828 6257. That's 1 800 828 6257. Or go online to learn more about final expense life insurance with guaranteed acceptance. That's 1 800 828 6257. 1 800 828 6257. Call now. Priest or no priest, you can't let him get away with this. Can't say I agree. Sanctuary is the Padre's bailiwick. <laughs> well, that concludes our services this morning. I will see you next Sunday. Father, what's going on with that guy? Well, everything will be straightened out. Nothing to worry about. I love the wheelbarrow story, Father. How do you do it? Perseverance, my son. Perseverance. A private is mine, correct? And unless you've got a manual that says this mess tent isn't a mess tent, I'm taking him with me. Lieutenant, there's a legal hair to be split here. I don't think you or I are qualified to make any decisions. The who is? I'm going to call the Judge Advocate General's office and see if their legal beagles can't give us an answer. In the meanwhile, everybody just sits tight. You want a phone call? You're the Colonel. Yeah, so stop acting like... Yeah, yeah. Still, we got lawyers and judges that can't...
keep this war in the oven up. You boys knew Gillis was AWOL last night. I don't like getting bad news late. Uh, Colonel, it's not exactly the way. Save it for the roses, Honeycutt. Admit it. You assume that if yours truly knew of that boy's situation, I'd do something foolish, like what's supposed to be done. Well, I guess we did figure what you didn't know wouldn't hurt him. How am I going to teach you two vigilantes to take those captain's fires seriously? If I busted you to privates, you think of it as a promotion. I'm sorry, Colonel, and I'm sure future private Pierce feels the same. I'm going to go to my office and call the JAG. And you boys are going somewhere, too, anywhere but here. Oh, thank you, Derek. I'll see you next Sunday. Goldman, what are you doing? We're getting this place ready for the brunch. Real eggs, Father. Leave everything exactly the way it is. Father, real eggs. Goldman. As long as we're going to be spending some time together, why don't we get acquainted? I'm Father Mulcahy. Uh, uh, Margaret from here. A lot of delicate fragrance of frying get us to embrace your whole factory organ. You leave my organs out of this. Do something about that awful thing. I'm only in elementary education. How am I supposed to soft boil eggs if the water won't boil? I'm a surgeon, another Indian philosopher. Step out! Listen, you crown prince of Tomania. I outrank you by five promotions and at least 80 IQ points. Smart people don't scare me. Now, will you kindly take your IQ? What stinks? A question you should never ask within the vicinity of yourself. Hey, it's burning! Oh, no, 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 no. How dare you fall down and you kill us? Want to hurt him, they're fish, ain't they? I can see why I have to get hold, can't you bother? But I can see why you're upset. But going AWOL, why do you keep telling me what I'm doing is wrong? What about what she did? Nick, there's no doubt that what Gloria did was wrong. Sometimes, when people are lonely, they're lonely. She better have a better answer than that. I'm lonely. I know. Perhaps I could arrange an emergency leave for you. Perhaps. Nick, there are certain realities here. Now, being AWOL is bad enough, but in 30 days, AWOL becomes desertion. Don't try to scare me, Father. If you want to help me, then you'll get me home. Come with me. You boys stay right there. You're not going to let them come in here, are you, Father? No, not in here. Bad news, Padre. The JAG says no to sanctuary. Sorry, son. Well, Private, I guess services are over. I'm not going back. You don't have to. I'm afraid I can't accept what the advocate general's to say. I don't see where you have any choice, Padre. The fellow I talked to was a crackerjack military lawyer. Colonel, I don't feel bound by military law in this matter, but rather by sacred principles. The only person I'd answer to is the command chaplain at i -Corps. Until I hear from him to the contrary, Private Gillis will remain in sanctuary here. Colonel, this is a crock. Do you know what this mess did? Won't run your camp? Watch your mouth, Lieutenant. I've known this man long enough to give him the benefit of a couple hundred doubts. He's not about to take a stand unless he feels it pretty deep. So let's make a call to the command chaplain. They're making it tough for me, Gillis. But nothing like I'm going to make it for you.